Welcome to our latest tutorial on data visualization with ggplot. Today, we're tackling a specific question that many R users encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to add grid lines to minor breaks only in their ggplot chart. They aim to display Y labels from 1 to 50, but only want horizontal grid lines every 10 numbers. However, they're facing a challenge where setting the major grid lines to blank seems to affect the minor grid lines as well. Let's dive into this intriguing problem and explore how to achieve the desired effect. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To add grid lines to minor breaks only in ggplot, we need to adjust our theme settings carefully. Let's start by ensuring we have the right libraries loaded. Next, we will create our plot using the ggplot function. We want to set the y-axis to show values from 1 to 50, with minor breaks every 10 units. Now, let's focus on the theme settings. We want to hide the major grid lines while keeping the minor grid lines visible. This is where we need to be careful. Finally, we will run the complete code to visualize our plot. Make sure to check that the minor grid lines appear correctly at the specified intervals. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To add grid lines to minor breaks in ggplot, you can use the geom hline function. Although there are some issues with minor breaks, this method will achieve your goal. Here's a code example using ggplot. First, load the necessary libraries and data. Then create a plot with points and customize the axes. Finally, customize the theme to enhance the visual appeal of your plot. Adjust the panel background, borders, and grid lines. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.